can take you anywhere, I could take you home I just wanna be there so you never feel alone I know how it feels a bit lost inside this world Don't give up, don't give up, no Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a self-care pamper routine for you guys. I know that everybody is going through just such a weird time lately and I know that it's definitely been hard for me as well and I think a pamper day and a self-care kind of day is definitely what we all need. Of course self-care looks a little bit different to absolutely everybody and I know for myself that the pamper routine side of things is a very small fraction but I know that it really helps a lot. This should go alongside taking care of yourself physically, taking care of yourself mentally and also spiritually as well so just bear that in mind this is something to help you but it's not the be all and end all um it's just something to do every now and again to hopefully perk yourself up and help you to get going on all of the other things that are really healthy and good for you to do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow my instagram which is Layla, and i will just get right into it so starting off this self-care day i am just not feeling my best i'm not looking my best and normally my hair is the first thing that i start off with purely because it takes the longest to dry it takes the longest to kind of do and my hair's in a really not great state right now it was curly before and i made sure to wash it really really well i'm gonna have my hair straight or wavy uh, today so the process is definitely different to say my last video where I'm gonna be doing my curly routine This is definitely different and I'm still applying a mask because self-care, but um, Just the whole process is really different. I use a lot less products, especially when I'm gonna be doing my hair straight So I like to put my hair into a shower cap and then I put it under a hair wrap Just so that the mask can soak in and I'm literally gonna leave it in there for the whole time I do my bath process so I'm running a bath and and typically I'm not really a bath person anymore I do like a bath but I just feel that it takes so much time so I'm definitely more of a shower person um, on a day-to-day -day basis so a bath is definitely a nice treat especially with uh, some bubble bath this one is from beauty laundry I really love this because it literally looks like you're putting in like uh, clothes detergent into the bath it's really not but it smells really good and it just does the job really well so whilst I'm waiting for the bath to fill up I'm gonna be doing some skincare so I'm just cleansing my skin and I'm using this milk makeup cleansing stick I have been loving this lately especially for summer it's very fresh and light feeling but it really cleanses nicely for a morning cleanse or if I'm cleansing when I haven't been wearing makeup so for my first cleanse, I'm just going to be uh, rubbing this in with my hands and then removing with a flannel. And for my second cleanse, I can't remember what cleanser I used, most likely the Body Shop Vitamin E one because that's really helped with my moisture lately. Um, it's really moisturizing and I've always loved that cleanser. To give my skin that little bit extra glow, I'm going to be using my Foreo Luna Mini and I really love using this, especially um, like a couple of times a week just to really help bring out the glow in my skin. It helps to exfoliate a little bit more just by that gentle vibration so I use this to kind of move the cleanser around my face before also removing it with a flannel today I'm doing a face mask normally I do face masks about two times a week today I'm using the Ole Henriksen cold plunge pore mask and I really love this my skin has been very congested lately even though I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup in self-isolation so I'm not really sure why my skin is acting up but this mask is amazing and I really really love the effects that it has on my skin it almost always works instantly and I just see it over the coming days as well so this is one of my favorite masks and it definitely feels like a treat because it's very cooling and it's just a nice sensation especially when you're going to take a hot bath just like the, the two feel really good so next I'm moving on to the bath now that it's full of course you guys aren't going to see much of this part but I still want to share with you guys some of the products that I love to use and that are just my go-to's so once I've lit a candle and just made it all cozy it's time to get in and start to enjoy the vibe you know so the bath products that i have been using for literally years is soap and glory clean on me for my like body wash i've always used this i just think it's such a nice sweet but clean smell and then i use the scrub of your life i really love all of soap and glory's bath products i think they're really good but specifically these ones they just smell so natural but clean smelling and i just i love that so i'll just exfoliate i put it onto this exfoliator cleaning thing from beauty laundrette so at that point 
point normally I will just shower off and just get everything off me and then I will get out of the shower and I will moisturize I really feel like my body needs to be moisturized every single time I get out of the shower because my body is just so dry if I don't so I just make sure that my body is nice and hydrated and it's time to wash this mask off my face because it's been on there for a little while also once i've washed the mask off my face i am going to wash the mask out of my hair as well because that has also been in my hair for a little while so i'm going to take my hair out of the hair wrap go and wash it and then i'm left with clean and moisturized hair when i am going for straight or wavy hair the type of products that i put into my hair are very different to when I'm doing my hair curly for my natural curls. I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil and I'm basically brushing my hair back behind my ears and I'm going to be tying it up into a low ponytail just to basically stretch the top portion of my hair so that it doesn't go curly and then that just makes it a lot easier to deal with when I'm going to be straightening it later on. I am just going to apply some lip balm whilst I do my eyebrows because I don't know about anyone else but my lips have been so dry since I've been in isolation and I'm also going to apply some of these under eye cooling patches from milk i love these these aren't typically hydrating they're more just really cooling feeling so it's definitely like a luxurious feeling just to feel like your under eyes are cool you know so i've got those on whilst i'm going to be tackling the eyebrow situation i haven't really touched my eyebrows in a little while and i had been letting them grow for a bit before this so they've still been growing they look actually even uh thicker than this now uh because i've been letting them grow but what i like to do when i um, do shape them up is apply concealer underneath my eyebrow to make sure that I don't over pluck and completely change the shape of my eyebrows and what I want it to be and I apply a eyebrow conditioning gel from Benefit just to keep them into place whilst I do the plucking process. This part is of course self-explanatory but I'm just plucking the hairs that are below the concealer line so that I still maintain that shape and that way when I remove the concealer it just looks a lot more like crisp as a line that's underneath the brow. I also have really curly brow hairs so I definitely need to trim them um, at the top as much as possible as well especially around the tail just to give it more shape and to make them look more defined and more neat. So I just make sure to repeat the process on the other brow and then I'm going to remove my eye patches and start to shave my face. So I'm just using one of those cheap razors that you can buy off Amazon. I've been doing this for a good few years and to be honest with you it really really helps my skin to be a lot smoother it's helped just a lot with my skin generally but also the way that my makeup sit i'm very careful going around the eyebrow area i want to make sure that i don't like shave my eyebrows off this also just kind of like removes the very very light layer of the top of your skin not as much as you would get if a professional was to um like dermaplan your face but it still really helps so now that i'm going to apply my skincare products it just kind of sinks in so much better i'm using this daily aha tonic from ren skincare and i've been loving this lately Lately, I'm definitely going to purchase the full size because it's so good and I've been using it daily um, I'm also going to be applying these uh, the cooling water from milk and I'm also going to be using the watermelon serum as well I really really love these it's just so nice and I love the stick form it just feels so hydrating and nice I'm also going to be using the banana bright eye cream from Ole Henriksen and then for my moisturizer for today I'm going to use the Ole Henriksen sea rush brightening gel cream and I really love this as well and it's just like a really nice glow feel to my skin and i just feel like after this whole process so much of me feels regenerated this whole process just makes me feel like i'm glowing and i've like shed the old skin off me which sounds weird but it definitely feels like that for my eyebrows as well i want to apply a little bit of rapid brow i've been using this to try and help my brows to be a little bit fuller lately i definitely feel like it's working um and i just apply this before i apply any makeup or anything like that and this is kind of how i'm looking i just feel like i look so much glowier and just so much healthier so i am gonna let my hair dry and I am going to do my hair and makeup and everything off camera. And this is me with literally such minimal makeup, but this is as good as it's been getting lately since being in quarantine isolation. So yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was an easy watch for you guys in this time. I hope that you're all staying safe. I love you all so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.